In this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up a communications link uh, for the CMS project. In this project, you have two options. Uh, the first is to set up a physical communications link using a USB to RS-232 adapter. Now, you'll need to use two of these and connect them to either two different computers or you can uh, you can connect them to the same to two separate USB ports on the same computer. Now, for testing or for demonstration purposes, we can also use virtual COM ports, and that's what I want to talk about today. Uh, if you go to week number two in the CMS project, uh, what you'll find is you'll find uh, an instructional document here which you can you can read through uh, but I'm gonna go through a lot of the points here and then you have two zip files here okay the first zip file it says com zero com and this is a null modem it's it's a it basically sets up virtual com ports on your computer so what I'd like you to do is to go and download uh, this one first okay the the other zip file uh, would allow you to set up com ports that are connected uh, between two different computers uh, using TCP so if you're on the same uh, local area network it's quite simple to set up and the setup is actually shown uh, in this document how to do it if you're in two different local area networks, uh, then you have to set up port forwarding on your router, and you'd also have to probably have dynamic DNS uh, set up so that you can have, because your IP address at home will change. If you want to do that, if you want to communicate over TCP, please let me know, and we'll take a look at how to do that. For now, what we're going to focus on is setting up uh, two different virtual COM ports on your machine. So once you've downloaded this file, uh, take it, put it on your uh, desktop and unzip it. All right, I've already done that. So I'm going to show you, here's the com zero com uh, download. It's a zip file. You can actually get uh, newer versions of this if you download from SourceForge. Uh, anyway, I'm going to just use this one because I know it works very well. Uh, when you open up uh, the file here, just uh, I'm using the 64-bit version, so down, so double-click it. It will ask you to for your permission uh, to install, and then you just say yes. Okay, and you have to agree in order to install. Uh, you can install, use all the default settings. We'll we'll make some changes uh, once we're once we're done. All right, so the program is being installed right now. Uh, just click next. Okay, we can close this. We don't need that anymore. I want to launch the setup. So I'll click click on launch setup and finish. Okay, so this is a, a sets up pairs of virtual ports that are connected. So, okay, the very first pair here, uh, this one, you might want to keep this one uh, because a lot of the instructions use this nomenclature. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we'll delete this one. Okay, we'll delete this virtual pair. I'm going to remove this. And we're going to set up uh, a new pair. I'm going to connect a new pair together. And uh, the, I'm going to give them two different names. So one is going to be COM6, and the other one is going to be COM7. Now you have to check, actually, what, you, what you're going to need to do is go into type Device Manager, click Enter. Okay, and make sure that those COM ports, okay, that those COM ports are not taken by uh, another another um, uh, another device. Okay, so you may have to change from COM six and COM seven to something that you have available on your machine. Now, the reason I'm using COM six and COM seven is because the programs that we're going to use, the Windows version, and and also when I show you later, uh, the Linux versions, uh, I, I they rely on these two ports okay I'm using I chose six and I chose seven if you choose something else then you'll have to edit the programs 
the the sample programs that I've that I've given you. Okay, so once you hit COM6 and COM7, they're blue right now, so they haven't been applied. Uh, what you want to do is hit apply, and the color will change to COM6 and COM7. And if you refresh your device manager, what you see is that there is uh, there's an issue here. You you don't have the drivers uh, yet installed for these virtual COM ports. So what we have to do is we will click on C6 and 7, there's a connection. Uh, just to show you that COM6 and COM7 are connected because the transmit side of COM6 crosses over and connects to the receive side of COM7. And the transmit side of COM7 crosses over and connects to the receive the receive pin of the or the virtual receive pin uh, of COM6. Okay, so we don't have drivers yet installed. So what we need to do is we need to update the driver. Uh, so you're going to search automatically for updated drivers. It'll take maybe about a minute or so. So I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so it uh, downloaded the drivers and it successfully updated them. So now we have we can close here and we can see that there are no further issues uh, and on our device manager all of the ports are properly correct connected so we have com6 and com7 everything is set up here so we can actually close com0 com it will automatically start every time we boot up our our machine uh, okay so and we can also uh, we can close the device manager here as well okay so that's how you set up the the ports on your uh, your virtual virtual ports on your machine thanks for watching